All right, it's time to use record hints. The idea behind this is attaching documents to your relatives. So these are easy to find because we're just on the home page, just barely logged in. And right here on the side, you see hints. There's all records or temple. I just want records because I want to attach documents to my relatives. So here I have, I have five right off the bat. You can click show more and there's a whole bunch more. And honestly, I don't know most of these people. I do, the surnames are pretty close um, in relation, Wilson, Cox, and Stoddard. Those are um, surnames that are on my mom's side of the family, just a couple of generations out. But Clyde H. Walters, I've never heard of before. Lewis Willis, I've never heard of. But these are my relatives, and I can click on view my relationship to check them. But I'm not going to do that. That's a different uh, lesson for another day. But right now, I want to check on these records. So we're going to click on the icon for hints. So the record is the Social Security um, indication, identification files. So the drop down arrow is going to show me what it's got in it. So I'm going to click review. And so it'll bring me to this page. So from my family tree, I have a Clyde H. Walters, and this is his birth date, and this is his ID. This information here is what is on, it will in the records of family search. And so I want to compare what I know from my family tree with what is in this record. So I want to click attach to family tree. And here it's going to show on the left side, it says view the record. So this is what the social security numeral, uh, numerical identification files shows. And then on the right side is the information that's on my family tree. So I'm just going to compare left to right. Clyde H. Walters, Clyde H. Walters, exact same name, years, 1913 to 1992, exact same there, name, name, everything lines up. So I think it's fairly safe to say that this is who this is, because even here on my family tree, it shows Arizona, and over here, it's showing Arizona. So I'm going to click add just because I can and then add again for this other one, because I, I believe that this is my relative. So reason to attach the source, I'm just gonna say that the records match. And click attach. And now it's done. So I want to go back. So I can return to record, just to kind of review the record or I can go all the way back here to the relative, or I can go back one tab further to where I started, which is right here. Now I'm done with that one. So I'm gonna move down to the next one. Oh, and just to be safe, I'm gonna close out these tabs so that I don't get mixed up again. So I'm gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna click on the icon. There's two records, the same thing, the social security one. Oh, they're both from the social security. So I'm gonna click down review. All right, this is what I've got in family tree. And then this is what's on the record. I'm going to click, I just always click attach, because I love to see the side by side views. Okay, the name is the same genders unknown versus male, I think we're pretty safe in saying that even though it's unknown, it's probably a male birth date. Limestone County, perfect. That's the same. Everything's the same. So add. And I'm going to type in and attach. And that is done. So I can close out this tab. I can close out this tab and go right back to where I was. And now I can go over the next one that's available here. 
click review. Attach to family tree. Okay. Not a whole lot of information here on the left. But we go further down and the wife is the same name. So the combination of names, Elmer Wilson married to a meet or young, even with that being a very unusual name, it's a safe bet that this is the relative and that it is a match. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this one. And I want to continue on. There's some other options here. I want to go ahead and compare. The spelling is a little bit different, but wouldn't you say that's close enough? We just, it's like, it's, it's kind of a good idea to go for, you know, 75 to 90% accuracy or um, compare. Oh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Closeness, similarity. Okay, so I'm on a sun now. Let's look at the dates. 21 versus 22. I would say that goes because if information from him came from a census, it's very often off by about six months, which can look like a whole year different. Um, living versus the deceased. This could just be that no one has gone in and updated his record yet. Birth. We've got a death date here. I'm going to go for it. Too many similar pieces of information hit attach. And anyway, you can just keep on keeping on. That's how it's done.